Hello boys and girls. Today to go along with our movie, The Lion King, we have one of my favorite crafts so far. It's Lion King foil art. And so this is going to be a chance that you get to work with uh, or to get creative with paint and um, aluminum foil. So for this activity, you are going to need aluminum foil, um, black acrylic paint. If you don't have acrylic paint at home, you can also use a Sharpie, which I will show you how to do it that way as well. A big paintbrush, a smaller paintbrush, or if you, you could also just use something kind of pointy because we're actually only using the smaller paintbrush for the smaller pointy end. If you do have the paints, you're also going to need something to put the paint on, some paper, like I have newspaper down on the table, some water, and um, some paper towel to dry off your brush. Last, you will also need a scissors, which is just used to cut the aluminum foil safely. All right, with that said, if you need to pause the video, go ahead to get your materials, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the first step. So I'm gonna move some of my materials out of the way, but you can see I started by simply cutting off a small rectangle from my aluminum foil, okay? So you can go ahead and do that. Pop play when you're ready. And I'm gonna show you now how to do the paint way first, not the marker way. If you're using black acrylic paint, you're simply going to put a little bit on a plate. You don't need a lot. You can always get more if you need it. Then you're gonna start with your big paintbrush. I'm gonna make sure it's clean and dry. I'm gonna get quite a bit on my brush to start. And now this is why it's important to have paper down because it's okay to go off the edges. You're gonna paint the whole thing a thick coat of black. I'm gonna to try to cover up all the little spots. You might even have to put a couple coats on. It's okay to go off the edges. Notice how I'm doing nice smooth streaks. I am gonna put a little bit more paint down. Okay, I'm gonna have to go over it a couple times because I don't want those streaks there and I wanna make sure I get all the little holes covered up for now. So you can go ahead, putting it on pretty thick and doing nice long strokes. I'm laying my paintbrush down. You can go ahead and finish painting your foil piece. Now you can pause the video and hit play when you're ready if you're doing it that way. But for those of you who are not using paint, I'm also going to show you right now um, how to do it with a marker. So I'm going to ask if you're doing it with a marker to leave about this much of the foil art um, uncolored in for now. So I'm just gonna draw a shape like that in the bottom uh, right corner. It's about a quarter of the paper because we're gonna draw something with that a little in a little bit. Um, but for now, at the top, if you're using a marker, all you're gonna be drawing in the, scar in the sky is stars. And you can do any design of stars you want. In the movie, you'll remember Mufasa and Simba were laying out in the field and looking up at the stars. They saw some stars in the shapes of other lions from their past. So you could even do stars in the shape of lions. Or you could do some swirls or some of shapes of your own choice. Feel free to get creative. So for this, you're simply going to draw the stars. That way you don't color them in. I'm gonna start by doing some stars in the shape of a swirl, I think. And maybe they aren't perfect stars. Maybe you wanna do some circles, okay, or other shapes. I might switch it up a little bit. Get creative. Make it your own. It does not have to be exactly like mine. And I could add more, I could make it fancier, I could, I'm probably gonna wanna fill up, have some all over, um, probably not covered with stars. You still wanna be able to see some black behind it. Um, but then after that, you're gonna go ahead and color in um, your 
all the area that's not your star. So you're going to leave the, what you drew, the inside of it, blank, because that's going to be your stars. And then you just color carefully around them, and you're going to fill in the whole paper. Down here is where I will show you later when we scratch off, but for now, friends that are drawing with a marker, I want to show them this step. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what that will look like. Um, all we're going to do is do the outline of Simba and Mufasa laying on the grass looking up at the stars, okay, because it's Lion King foil art. And so I'm going to draw that for you now as if the outline of them, because we're not going to color those in. So I'm going to draw a lion. I'm going to do kind of a loop up. This is Mufasa. So now I'm going to do his head here. And so there's his jaw. Do his nose now. And I'm going to go up for his big mane. Now I'm not going to finish drawing him because I know Simba's on his back over here. So I'm going to do a smaller lion with his jaw. Indent for his nose now. And his little start to the mane and his ear, of course, down here. Okay, I'm going to go down. Put a little bump for his back leg. And then I'm going to finish Mufasa's body. Bump for his back leg. I'm going to have it go off the page. Okay, so do something like that. Um, and if you're painting, ignore that for now. We will do that um, when I, we scratch it off, and um, which I will show you in a little bit. So you can just paint the whole thing black, but if you're doing marker, you're going to want to do that outline, and then you're just going to color in around that the best you can. Fill the rest in black with no holes, um, and then you will have your outline. So if you're doing um, whatever step you're doing, you can go ahead and do that and click play when you're ready. All right, boys and girls, I am now going to show you the second part of our craft. So for those of you who drew with black marker, you are all done. You can just continue working on coloring it in, adding more details and stars to your craft. Um, I'm gonna now show the painters what the next part is for them. Before you can start this next step though, it's very important that you give it lots of time to completely dry before you're ready. I went ahead and started with this step, but first I made sure that mine is completely dry. And I know it's dry because when I touch it, I have no black paint on my hands. Um, this part can get a little tricky um, because if you push too hard, it's very easy to rip a hole through the paper. And it's okay if you do. It's still going to look pretty neat. As you'll see here, I actually have some holes in mine and it's still going to look pretty cool when you're done. I'm going to jump over showing you this bottom part because it's just like when I showed you um, how to draw the outline of Simba and Mufasa sitting in the grass um, for those of you who were drawing with a marker. Again, I just drew with a toothpick or I said you could use a thin end of a paintbrush. Um, something sharper is better like a toothpick or even a paper clip as long as you're careful not to push too hard. So again, I made that outline. If you need to rewash that outline, feel free to watch the last video where I drew that with a marker. I also have so far put it some or put some lines on the the bottom for to show like they're laying in the grass. Now I'm going to keep showing you how to use this um, by drawing my own creation of stars in the sky. You can make yours though however you want. You can get creative and make it your own. So a key to using this and to drawing on the the paint to scratch it off is by putting your toothpick straight up and down and this is really important doing very tiny little strokes if you try to go too far it's not going to come off or it's going to rip the paper so I'm just going to do either a little dot or a little little tiny line to make your stars just little tiny lines work the best and again I'm going straight up and down with my toothpick dot between them. I think I'm going to kind of plan it out by doing a swirl here in the sky. Again, it's probably helpful to think of your design before just jumping in. And it's okay if once you start you get some rips in it. It takes a little bit to get the hang of it. Again, little strokes. Pushing kind of hard, but not too hard to rip the paper. And 
maybe it could even be helpful for you to kind of draw out your design in the sky that you want with a pencil before starting in with your toothpick or sharp object that you are using. I encourage you, if you're using a scissors or anything pretty sharp, that you get an adult to help you with this part. And again, get creative, make the design in the sky your own. Maybe you even want to draw a lion in the sky like Simba and Mufasa saw. I'm going to keep working on mine, um, but that's kind of the gist of how you go about this craft. Um, I'll show you mine when it's done, but I cannot wait to see yours. Hit play when you're ready for the next or to see the final product. All right, and there is my finished product. I did some swirls in the sky, kind of like the wind, but also to show the shape of the sky, um, of the stars in the sky. Feel free to make it your own. Um, again, it's okay if you rip the paper a little bit, just kind of flatten it out and try to cover up the holes with the aluminum the best you can, and it sh still should look pretty cool. Feel free to color in Mufasa and Simba, um, add more grass if you would like. We are just so excited to see your creations.